It depends what you mean by safe. Certainly there is no level of radiation that does not have uh, a chance of causing cancer. I mean, that's been clearly uh, shown in multiple uh, scientific studies. Whether they're at Roxby or whatever, uranium mine in particular, the risks there, in addition to the radiation risk related to gamma radiation, which is, uh, you know, if you like, high energy X-rays, and alpha radiation, which are the particles that are inhaled and their exposure is due to uh, the direct effect on lung. Now, gamma radiation can be measured, and most responsible employers would measure that radiation. There are regulatory limits to how much radiation you can be exposed to, but remember there's no safe threshold. So therefore the miners need to be informed of that, that they might be below, be below some regulatory threshold, but that doesn't mean that there's not an increased chance of cancer. BHP Billiton intend to turn this, the Olympic Dam uranium mine, into the largest uranium mine in the world creating a massive hole in the dead heart of Australia, four kilometres long by three kilometres wide by one kilometre deep. From this, they intend to extract the precious minerals in uranium. If the government gives BHP Billiton's plans, which are currently before them for approval, if they get the go-ahead, BHP Billiton intends to dump 70 million tonnes per year, a lot of it finely pulverised, into huge stacks, 150 metres high, covering an area of 6,000 hectares. Now, if you can't get your head around that volume of radioactive tailings, 70 million tonnes dumped on the desert floor each year, is the equivalent of filling the Melbourne cricket ground up to the height of the goalposts four times a week, every week for the next 100 years, the life of the mine. This is the range of uranium mine, smack in the middle of Kakadu, a World Heritage listing. Every year, 5,000 tonnes of yellow cake are exported from this mine. Our politicians tell us it's just for peaceful purposes, nuclear power. But yellow cake carries no name tag, only a price tag. The open pit mine uh, is a greater hazard for the people in the vicinity because the face of the of the ore bed is opened and there are many uh, surfaces for release of the radon gas which carries the ra radioactivity off-site. Workers in a uranium mine are obliged to wear TLD badges, which measure the gamma radiation they're exposed to. But these TLD badges don't measure the alpha radiation that comes from another invisible killer, the radon gas. We're giving the workers air-conditioned cabs that looked clean and were filtering the uh, air coming in and they were saying this was very protective of health. Uh, but you're dealing here with a gas, and the gas goes right through the filter. You can't filter out a gas. You filter out particulates. When the uh, radioactivity is in a dusty environment, it goes deeper into the lungs, and it causes bronchial or lumbar 
types of cancers, but when the air is cleaner, you still get cancer, but you get it in the nasopharyngeal area of the, it doesn't go as deep into the lungs. Uh, I don't know that one's better than the other. Neither one is acceptable in my book. So the fact that the air is clean does not mean that you're not uh, being exposed to a carcinogen. And they have water carriers consistently spraying the dust on the roads to keep it down. But if you inhale or you swallow the dust, the radium, which the body thinks is calcium, is absorbed from the gut and is laid down in the bone where it can mutate regulatory genes that control the rate of cell division in the bone and cause bone cancer, or in the bone marrow uh, and cause leukemia, which is cancer of the white blood cells. With alpha radiation or alpha particles that are inhaled, you can, and that's predominantly radon gas in these mines, you can actually monitor the level of radon gas, but you can't actually monitor the uh, radiation absorbed from the alpha particles. And we know that alpha radiation has a 20 times increased um, impact, biological impact, than gamma radiation. So that's the big question mark, that's the big unknown, and that's the challenge for any employer who is concerned about their workers to be able to determine uh, what their workers' exposure is. People who mine uranium are at great risk of lung cancer and in the past 30 to 50 percent of men who've mined uranium have developed lung cancer and died. All workers should know this. If they wear respirators it makes no difference because the radon gas gets through. It's a very heavy gas. It's about seven times heavier than air so it, it stays near the earth because it's an invisible uh, gas with no odor, so people don't know they're being exposed to it. And uh, again, you breathe in the gas, then the uh, solid particles, the lead, bismuth,